Good morning. It's pretty hard to believe that I haven't seen you guys since last year. Um, but I hope 2017 is treating you guys better than it did for 2016. I know a lot of people just were not happy with 2016. I personally fell in love, so I really liked 2016, but I hope you guys are enjoying 2017 so far. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just waking up. Got these little babies in the bed, which always make it very difficult for me to be productive. I just want to lay here with them all day and literally just, you know, be a cat. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't, right? But no, we got to eat. We got to eat. So I thought today would be a great opportunity because I know so many of us, myself included, have made it their New Year's resolution to eat better. I'm not so much into eating to lose weight or eating uh, to try to obtain a certain body type. I purely just want to eat more whole foods, foods that I know are good for my body, foods that are going to give me energy and make me feel good. So there's no calorie counting, there's no grams of fat counting for me. It's just eating pure whole foods that I know are good for me. So if you're into that thing, that kind of lifestyle, then you will like this video because today's video on what I ate today is going to be all about healthy food. All right, so I've brought some water to a boil and now I'm adding in my steel cut oats. Steel cut oats are really the best option here because they are the best for you. Um, I know they take a little bit longer so they're not as convenient, but that's why when I make them, I make a lot and you can keep this in your fridge for the entire week. And you know, people often ask me why I cook in a wok. Like, why am I making oatmeal in a wok? And I truly have no valid answer for you other than the fact that I like to meal prep. So I like to make big portions and I think cooking in a wok just like makes sense. I don't know, it heats evenly. You can cook a, a large amount of food. I mean, I could put it, I guess, in like a tall pot too, but I just, I don't know, I just like it. I just, why not? Is, it, is a wok exclusively for stir fry? That seems like a waste. <laughs> Been cooking for about 20 minutes now. It's thickening up, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a few things to make it a little bit more interesting. So as of right now, there's just water and oatmeal. There's no sugar, nothing like that. So I'm gonna add in a spoonful of flax. Gotta get those omega-3s. As well as a spoonful of chia. Again, omega-3s, very important. Then I'm gonna do lots of cinnamon. I personally love cinnamon. And some vanilla powder. If you don't have vanilla powder, you can use vanilla extract. I like the powder because you don't get the alcohol in there. And just stir it all in. Now I know you're probably already thinking, what in this is gonna make it taste good? I feel you, I got you, I got you, I got you. So we're gonna do some shredded coconut on top some sliced strawberries to give it some natural sugar, and then just a few almond slices. And there you have it, a quick, easy, high in protein, high in omega-3s breakfast. Um, the lack of sugar might be a little hard to get used to at first, but I actually nowadays crave this, and I think it's delicious. Fast forward a few hours and now it is lunch time and I'm going to be making a white bean, kale white bean veggie soup. And I make this a lot. This is like a staple in our house and I'm gonna share with you guys how to make it. For the base of the soup, I'm gonna be using vegetable broth as well as two cans of diced tomatoes in tomato juice, a large onion or maybe two small medium on onions if you can't find one that's like this super massive, potatoes, carrots, an entire huge thing of kale, let's keep it healthy. Uh, some white beans, a large can or two small cans, some barley, and then spices of your choice. I personally love seasoned salt and just pepper, keeping it simple. Uh, how glorious all the hard work is done. Doesn't that just feel great? Isn't this just like satisfying to look at? <laughs> and can I just say, it is total soup weather. Look at outside. It literally looks like it's like 
I love this soup recipe because it is seriously so, so easy. So right here, I've just been browning the onion in some veggie broth. Over here in my huge soup pot, I'm just bringing the diced tomatoes and the juice to a boil. So, so far we have the tomatoes and the juice, the onions and the beans. And I'm actually gonna add a few cups of water until I get it to the kind of like consistency that I want or like the right ratio of veggies to a liquid. It's finally boiling, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the barley. About 20 minutes later, I'm gonna go in and start putting in all of this green kale, look at it. And at first, you're gonna be like, holy shit, Kalel, that's a lot of kale. Just start calling me kale L. No, I'm just joking, don't do that. 10 minutes later, and I'm gonna go ahead and just add in the rest of our stuff. Please don't splash me, please don't splash me. This is not easy to do with one hand. <laughs> I feel like my pot is literally gonna overflow. And then for some spices, of course, a little bit of pepper, as well as the legendary seasoned salt. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon or so of it in here, just cause you gotta get that flavor in there. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna turn down the heat to about medium low. And I'm gonna let this sit for about one to two hours. I know that seems a really long time, but basically the longer you let it cook on low, I find the better it tastes. You want the potatoes to kind of like fall apart and thicken up the base of the soup. At least that's how I like it. And you want the kale to become really soft. So I suggest just leaving it on low for a few hours, check it every now and then, and that's it. Two hours later, and here is the finished product. You'll see it's thickened up quite a bit. The kale's really nice and soft. Perfection. There you have it, a nice hearty lunch. Soup is the best too because it literally stays good for, I think I've had even soup in my fridge for like two weeks before. And every time you heat it up, it almost just tastes better and better. The flavors blend more. For a snack, I'm gonna be making some hummus and cauliflower. This is really quick, really easy, and really delicious. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I've always felt like hummus shouldn't be healthy. It's just so good, but you know, it's just, at least my version, uh, it's just some garbanzo beans, lemon, garlic, turmeric, cumin, and garlic salt. And then whatever veggie you'd like to dip it in. Really, really easy, really, really quick. Let's do it. So then in a blender, I'm gonna put the two cans of beans, probably about a tablespoon of garlic, the juice of an entire lemon, and then we're gonna blend. And if you find that it's a little bit too thick, just add bits of water until you get the right consistency. And once you get a nice smooth consistency, then you go in with your flavors. So I'm doing these three in pretty much in this order. So a little bit of cumin, a little bit more of garlic salt, and a lot of turmeric. Turmeric's really, really good for you. And the taste isn't really that strong, so I like putting a lot. And then re-blend with the spices in there and just kind of keep tasting it, adding more spices, tasting, adding more spices until it tastes the way that you want it to taste. And there you have it, quick and easy snack. Serve it like this. Kind of looks like mustard mashed potatoes, but <laughs> trust, it's really good and really filling. For dinner, I'm gonna be making a uh, kind of white Alfredo sauce penne broccoli pasta. So for the sauce, you're gonna need some cauliflower, vegetable broth, onion, lemon, garlic, uh, some kind of salt. I prefer seasoned salt, you can use regular salt. Pepper and optional nutritional yeast. So nutritional yeast, if you're not familiar with it, it's actually a health food and it has a little bit of a natural cheesy type flavor. So I like putting it in my vegan cheese recipes. And then for the pasta, I'm using brown rice pasta. This is a better alternative than wheat pasta just because you're getting the whole form of the grain instead of, I mean, you could get whole grain pasta, I suppose, but brown rice pasta tastes a little bit better um, to me. Anyway, and then again, just some frozen broccoli. And the sauce also needs cashews, but I realized that I was out of cashews, so Cyrus just went to the store and, and uh, is going to get some. Bookie, really? <laughs> what is this? First of all, you know that you're not allowed on the counter.
<laughs> and since we're trying to be super healthy with these recipes, we're not gonna add any oil to these onions. It's actually a really good tip. When cooking onions, you do not need to add oil to prevent sticking. What you do is you just wash them closely. Every few minutes, add a little bit of water. I like to put vegetable broth and then stir them, and they'll brown in the same way they would if you would use oil. 10 minutes later, and this is what we got. See, nice and brown, oil-free onions, no fat needed. Okay, now to add in a little bit more flavor, gonna do a pretty big scoop. That might be too much. <laughs> Garlic, this is what's gonna make it, you know, Alfredo-y. And next, I'm gonna add the cauliflower. If you're using fresh cauliflower, I would recommend just doing an entire head. In my case, I'm just gonna put this entire frozen bag. And then I'm just gonna let this cook. I'm gonna add about two cups of vegetable broth. And then cover it, let it cook on medium to high heat for about 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna spoon this cauliflower onion mixture into a blender so we can make it more of a sauce. And then to give it a nice creamy taste, I'm gonna add quite a bit of cashews here. Now, if you don't have a high power blender, you're gonna want to let these cashews soak in water for a few hours before you put them in your blender. Otherwise, it's not gonna get super, super, super smooth. I'm also gonna add the juice of an entire lemon Give it that kind of tangy taste. So as you can see, we have the perfect color and texture. And now we're gonna add just a little bit of uh, spices to really make it flavorful. So like I said, I'm obsessed with this seasoned salt. I put it in literally everything I cook. Just a little bit of pepper and a tiny bit of the nutritional yeast. Um, so over here, I've started boiling the pasta, and then in here, in the same pan that I was using before, I now have the broccoli and just a little bit of broth, and I'm letting it steam. All right, final step, add in the sauce. Might not use all of it, that might be good. Eh, no, we'll use all of it. <laughs> too much sauce. <laughs> and then the pasta, and just fold it in. <laughs> no, it's perfect. <laughs> and there's the final product. Looks pretty good. If I don't say so myself, I don't think that's too much sauce. Looks just right. And for tonight's entertainment, as we eat on our sofa, we are watching Black Mirror. Have you guys seen this show? Let me know in the comments if you have seen this show because it is very, very, very interesting. And if you haven't seen it, but you go to watch it, let me just warn you, the first episode is really, really, really fucking weird, but it gets, it gets better. Keep watching. <laughs> but if you've watched it, let me know what you think and let me know what your favorite episode is. Okay, now we're gonna eat. Now for dessert, we have something very exciting. We're gonna make use of our new Yonana's machine. This time we're gonna get a little bit more adventurous. We're gonna try to make Snickers ice cream. So <laughs> But healthy. So I'm just gonna feed these frozen bananas into the machine. Then I'm gonna mix some vanilla. This is like a vanilla bean, but in like powder form. We have some crushed peanuts, and then just a little bit of maple syrup. Where's the chocolate? Good point, but we don't need chocolate. What? <laughs> Snickers got chocolate. <laughs> it's true, Snickers supposed to have chocolate, but like... So grab some more fucking chocolate! This is supposed to be a healthy video! I t this is video, this is like, uh, you know, New Year's resolutions, we're trying to... What if my New Year's resolution is to get fat? Well, this isn't the video for you. <laughs> this is a video for people trying to be healthy. We don't need chocolate, all right? We got this. All 
All right, so we're gonna put just a little bit of peanuts. And I already mixed the vanilla bean into the ice cream. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of maple syrup to kind of mimic like a caramel. And then just to please Cyrus, we'll put literally just a few chocolate chips. Yay! <laughs> Nah. Well, there you have it. A day's worth of healthy food, at least up until the end there, thanks to someone. <laughs> but you know, uh, let's just say, you know, the chocolate chips were for that sprinkle of mental health. Treat yourself. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.